The Honda Odyssey has been the best-selling minivan in the US for over a decade. The Odyssey targets to retain its competitive edge by adding a new sport trim and a new complementary maintenance plan for the new model year. Keep on watching this video to find out all the new features of the 2023 Honda Odyssey. The Odyssey variant from Honda is one of the few remaining options for buyers seeking a three-row vehicle with lower load floors, with much more cargo space and sliding doors. Honda's own Pilot SUV posts superior sales figures, but sometimes a minivan is the right tool for the job. The current generation Odyssey debuted for the 2018 model year, and it got a 2021 refresh. 2023 brings a new trim level, the Odyssey Sport, and discontinues the base Odyssey LX. The Honda competes against other minivans, including the Toyota Sienna, Chrysler Pacifica, and Kia Carnival. The Odyssey offers a hollow interior too, so if you ever find yourself folding down the rear seats, you'll have loads more space than you would in a Toyota Sienna. Performance is a surprising strong point. The new Honda Odyssey has a stable, uncommonly nimble handling, and the combination of Honda's venerable V6 and a 10-speed automatic makes for smooth delivery of 280 horsepower and about 6,000 RPM of torque. In a recent four-way minivan comparison, the all-new 2023 Honda Odyssey was placed at second. Its easy third-row access and excellent driving experience were strong points, but still, the infotainment system needs to be updated. The third row can be tricky to raise and lower, and some buyers may miss the hybrid and all-wheel drive options of some of Honda's competitors. Fleet-footed, efficient, and polished, the Odyssey is a sweetheart that requires zero compromises. The new Honda Odyssey changes direction crisply, and from behind the wheel, it's easy to forget that you are piloting a three-row van. Its steering is direct and is light, but more feedback from the road would be welcome. Many driving enthusiasts won't rave about the new Odyssey as it is still a minivan, after all. But the new Honda Odyssey is the best driving minivan, and its skill makes it competent in corners and easy to drive on narrow roads. We tested an Elite and found that its ride was less compliant than our long-term Pacifica, but its standard 19-inch wheels could be partly to blame. An EXL we drove wore 18-inch wheels and seemed better suited to the pockmarked Michigan roads we usually drive. Over most road surfaces, though, the Odyssey displays a comfortable ride and few passengers will complain. The new Odyssey has the ability to tow up to 3,500 pounds, the equivalent of a small boat. Although it might take the 10-speed a moment to shift under heavy throttle, there's enough power for good passing moves and good grunts off the line. The all-new 2023 Honda Odyssey just might be the exception where it is okay to use the words minivan along with fun in the same sentence. Its new and improved V6 engine offers enough power for your merging and passing needs even when the user has the cabin full of passengers. The precise steering and stable braking and handling gives the new 2023 Odyssey a confident presence both on the highway and along tighter roads. But is the Odyssey sporty? Well, not really, but it is well-sorted and enjoyable to drive. Moreover, the smooth, shifting 10-speed automatic transmission unobtrusively chooses the proper gear for the situation. Also, the standard steering wheel-mounted paddle shifters are nice if you want to shift for yourself. According to the EPA, the new Honda Odyssey is rated at 19 miles per gallon in the city and at the same time got rated 28 miles per gallon on the highway. In its real-world highway testing, the test vehicle outperformed its EPA estimate, delivering 30 miles per gallon. For comparison, the expert's long-term Pacifica managed 33 miles per gallon. If you don't really mind the genius of power sliding doors, the 2023 Odyssey looks good by embracing design cues from the Pilot SUV. New Sport trim adds some pizzazz, but many minivans have fallen out of favor. The new Sport model comes from the dark-out SUV trend by trying to slim down the shape and it takes eyes away from the bulbous rear. The gloss black trim covers the grille, side mirrors, light surrounds, and mid pillars, and it rides on 19-inch black wheels. Now, moving on to the front, there is a chrome bar which furrows the grille that hugs the integrated LED lights. Its fog lights stack up, down, under, and down the side, and parallel body lines run down and up over the body line and sliding door track before mixing above the rear wheel. Don't look past there. 
On the inside, clever storage spaces in the doors and the center console garner more attention than the dashboard slapped with gloss black plastic, fake chrome, and a neat center stack. The new Honda Odyssey doubles as a mobile family room or a weekend work van, with removable second row seats as well as a third row bench that folds into the floor. The EXL trim along with the other trims get a leather trimmed first row and outer second row seats. And although the Touring and the Elite trims lack the mid-row captain's chairs, which double as recliners, the seats come with armrests and long-distance comfort. The driver gets a 12-way power adjustment standard, which is what the driver needs. Instead of a driver's seat, the second row has a choose-your-own chair setup the automaker likes to call Magic Slide. The middle seat can be removed, and then the two remaining second row seats slide laterally and fore and aft for easier ingress as well as egress. It's genius and dynamic, but less convenient than the Chrysler Pacifica's stow-and-go seats that fold flat into the floor. And unlike all but full-size SUVs, adults can fit in the third row thanks to 38.1 inches of legroom. Also, the 60-40 split third row collapses into the floor with a couple of pulls of the straps, but the headrests must be collapsed first. Moreover, the 33 cubic feet of cargo space with all three rows up beats most SUVs as well as the balloons to 88.6 cubic feet with both rows of seats down, beating even the Honda Pilot. With the third row folded and the second row seats removed, the new Odyssey gets to work with a truck-like 144.9 cubic feet of cargo room. And with the base LX tricken from the model lineup, the automaker trims the new Odyssey in leather power seats in all but the base EX. Heated seats come standard as it does all-day comfort. Even on top trims, the new Odyssey doesn't pretend to luxury levels and that's just fine for this family hauler. The Honda Odyssey earned a top 5-star crash test rating from the NHTSA as well as a top safety pick plus award from the IIHS last year and car experts expect it to do the same this year. Those ratings earned it a point each, as does the wealth of standard safety features. Every Honda Odyssey model comes with a Honda Sensing suite of safety features that include active lane control, blind spot monitors, automatic high beams, adaptive cruise control down to a stop, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and a backseat reminder that alerts drivers of cargo and passengers left in the rear seats. In the Touring and Elite trims, a back-facing interior camera named the Cabin Watch projects onto the touchscreen what's going on in the back seats. Honda let go of the base LX and its display screen for the new model. The EX trim becomes the base model with a price of $38,635, which includes a $1,295 destination fee. Standard in all new Honda Odysseys is heated front seats, an 8-inch touchscreen with smartphone compatibility, remote start, satellite radio with two USB ports, three-zone climate control, and the power sliding rear doors. Moreover, the automaker's new 3-year per 36,000-mile basic warranty does not really earn a point on our scale. However, its 2 years or 24,000 miles of free maintenance also adds in assurance. The EXL trim in the new Odyssey makes the most sense for value if the no-frills base model doesn't do it for you. But for only $800 more than the EXL, the Odyssey Sport trim might draw the most Odyssey sales at $42,505. And in addition to its leather upholstery, a 12-way power adjustable driver's seat, three-zone climate control, and a power tailgate on the EXL, the sport's blacked-out trim pieces on the grille, light surrounds, side mirrors, and mid-pillars, which rides on 19-inch black wheels seemingly borrowed from the black crossover SUV trend. Now, with the boring LX no longer in the picture, the new Odyssey costs a bit more, but is way better equipped. What are your thoughts on the all-new Honda Odyssey 2023? Let us know in the comments section down below. Bye for now.